let's continue our questions on math in ntsc examination now this is again a different kind of venn diagram problem here you have educated people who are employed the previous venn diagram problem that we did was on india and pakistan and two of the countries lying within the continent of asia so that was arrangement of venn diagram here we have the display of the venn diagram saying that you have educated and employed people so how many people are educated and employed would be this region and this is 6 plus 12 so you would have 18 as the correct option the next question that we would try to understand is arrangement in a meaningful sequence now we'll start from the smallest place to the bigger dimensions so Jaipur is a city which lies in Rajasthan Rajasthan lies in India India lies in Asia Asia lies in universe and I believe this is one of the interesting problems that you might be having uh, you might be solving from your childhood so that is a kind of very very simple way of solving the questions like these so you have numerous questions which are based on this uh, again an analytical problem if a is bigger than b i can draw it a is bigger than b okay b is bigger than c and c is bigger than d so that's the dimension a bigger b then c and then d so this is the smaller square bigger square uh, circle bigger circle and bigger circle if that's how you want to understand it then a would be bigger than c definitely correct a would be bigger than d definitely correct b would be bigger than d definitely correct but d would be bigger than a is definitely incorrect and that's the wrong conclusion that would be there Similarly, we have questions where we have to replace the signs and symbols. For example, here you would have alpha represented as equal to and y uh, beta represented as greater than. So if 6x is equal to 5y, 2y is greater than 3z, you would have to find out which of these equations are correct. So simple mathematical formulations to understand these kind of questions. Similarly, you have no, lots of coding decoding problems in blood relations. So coding decoding in blood relation is a separate section that we have covered in depth in our separate video. Go through that very, very important, very, very interesting. So what you have to do is replace this. For example, P at the rate Q. So I'll replace it with at the rate means husband. So P is the husband of uh, Q. Then uh, dollar Q is the mother of B, mother of M. So dollar represents mother and not represents father. Okay. And once I have this, I'll just arrange it into the hierarchy as we have done in our blood relation classes and try to solve these questions. Again, this is a simple question of mathematics. This is a formulation of A square minus B square where you do A plus B into A minus B. Rather than solving 47 into 47 minus 43 into 43, it's simply a square minus b square. So you would do 47 plus 43 into 47 minus 43 divided by 4 and that would give you the value of p because this is 4p and this would cancel out. So this would remain as the only answer which is 90. So 90 becomes the right option here. The next question is average of three numbers is 20 if two numbers are these how do we find the three numbers so 16 plus 22 plus x divided by 3 is equal to 20 so 16 plus 22 plus x is equal to 60 this is 38 so x is equal to 60 minus 38 and you solve it so you would have 22 as the right option in this question then you have the faces of the dice now dice and the sides of the dice again cube and dice problems we have covered separately in detail now here adjoining to 5 is 3 and adjoining to 5 is 4 that means 3 and 4 are the opposite sides so just have a cube and try to understand the sides as you visualize over the time your visualization would develop and even without a presence of a cube or a dice you would be able to solve it through visualization so these questions which are based on 3d understanding needs to be practiced with visualization now this is again an interesting question which is an, based on analytical reasoning we have covered a lots and lots of such analytical problems in detail now if you are able to draw a right diagram or a 
table for these kind of questions then all the questions which are based on it becomes very very easy to solve again there is an interesting question this i believe is not a question for your mat but it is a basic mathematics where we say lcm into hcf is equal to product of two numbers now lcm is 12 times the hcf the sum is 403 so let let me take as hcf is x lcm becomes 12x so 12x plus x is equal to 403 this is my equation 1 my equation 2 is 12x into x which is 12x square is equal to 93 into y so y is the other number which is unknown that i have to find and solving this first equation i'll find out the value for x i'll substitute the value for x here and then divide it by 93 to get y and i'll get y so i have two equations with one equation i'll get x I'll apply the value of x in the second equation which is LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers and I'll find out the missing number that is there. The next question is I have to find a greatest four digit even number. Even word is important. So simply arrange these digits from bigger to smaller to 7650. Now this is an even number definitely because it ends with 0. So this becomes your right answer. If it was the smallest number you would not start it with 0. And that's a common mistake that most of the students do. So you'll start it as 5067 as the smallest number in this case. And this is not even. So if you are asked about even it would be 5076 as the smallest number okay so that is without repeating the digits and whether it is odd or even and whether it is a four digit number so we cannot start with zero if i start with zero it becomes a three digit number so that's a basic and a fundamental logic now based on the pi diagram again you have a series of questions let's pick up one of the questions here one of the questions is the total amount spent in 1999 was 46,000. how amount spent on the food is so on the food, uh, you spend 23%, so 46,000 and 23% of 46,000, I'll simply have to calculate and I'll have the answers there and then itself. So this is the total expenditure that is there and of that total expenditure, which is 46,000, 23% is being spent on food items. So the proportion that is being spent on the food items needs to be calculated. And the last question is based on ratio and proportion. So here... 3 into 7 gives me 21. So what number x into 7 would give me 574. So simply I'll find out x which is 574 divided by 7. I'll calculate x and that would come up to 80. Two. So 82 becomes the right option. Again, a very, very simple problem on analogy. The relation between the first two would be similar between as the relation between the second two. So in the first two uh, numbers, I have multiplication. I have division by 7. Okay. So again, here there would be division by 7 that would be witnessed. A very, very simple and a comprehensive analysis for the questions that have been asked in your MAT examination. So these are the kind of variety of questions that you must be thorough with. We would be bringing in many such interesting examples for you. Stay tuned for many more updates from our side. Have a wonderful day ahead.